Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Corsair H110. This is a 280 millimeter liquid cooler from Corsair. It is an all-in-one pre-filled liquid cooler, which means it's pretty much zero maintenance uh, within its reasonably expected lifespan of how long you would have that computer. And it is simple to install as long as you pick out a case that it is compatible with. As we open up the box, we find everything packed in a neat eco-friendly package. So this is using sort of brown paper cardboard rather than going heavy on the foam. Even things like the radiator itself are not packed in foam. It's just a, a paper recyclable material, which I do like to see. Also, you have a warranty card that tells you not a whole lot, but it's okay because on the... <laughs> Duration of warranty, well it depends, anywhere from two years to lifetime. It's okay though, because it tells you right on the outside of the box that it is a five year guarantee from Corsair. Inside the box we find a number of things including two 140 millimeter fans. It should be noted that unlike the Corsair 100i, these are not Corsair design fans. I mean they're Corsair fans, but they don't have the flat blades like the SP series. So they're using more of uh, what we saw on Corsair's last generation liquid coolers in terms of the blade design. Okay, they are four pin PWM fans, however, and they do have uh, black ribbon cables, so they're gonna go well with your system pretty much no matter what. I mean, Corsair is, uh, is so good at making sure that their components are not only high performance, but also are held to a different standard in terms of aesthetics. For mounting hardware, you've got everything you need for pretty much every socket you could possibly need, including FM1, FM2, AM3, AM3+, AM2, AM2+, LGA1156, LGA1155, LGA775, LGA1366, and LGA2011. The instructions that are included are very straightforward, and again, we're used to seeing this. And if you've installed something like a Corsair H70 or H50 in the past, you'll pretty much already know how to use all of this stuff. One of the challenging things with the Corsair 100, or rather H110, is case compatibility. So there are some Corsair cases compatible with this particular cooler. Uh, I mean, even some of the cases that they don't say are compatible actually ended up working. For example, uh, we found that we could install it in a Vengeance C70, which is right over there, and that is not listed as compatible. We did this without any cutting. All we had to do was get some washers and put them uh, between the screws and the case itself because the holes were a little bit wide. So that was the only issue. So with a little bit of ingenuity, if you've got a dual 140 millimeter fan mount in the top and enough clearance to have not only the radiator, but also the fan itself without interfering with any of the components of your motherboard, you shouldn't run into too much difficulty. The radiator itself is, as you'd expect, about 36% larger than an H100i or an H100 due to the larger fan design. It is still a fairly slim radiator, so this is necessary because the last thing you want to do with a product like this that's not compatible with every case out there is go and make it thicker so that it's compatible with even fewer cases. Because it's so wide, you're not going to be able to do what some case manufacturers have done and that is to offset the 120 millimeter mounting holes in the top so that there's room for the motherboard on the side rather than centering it with something this large. The tubing is a very very flexible quarter inch tubing so that's another option that hasn't been carried over from the H100i in addition to Corsair Link software not being included with the H110 at this time. So the H100i has 3 8 tubing whereas the H100 when <laughs> These are very confusing model names. H110 does not have 3 8 inch tubing. It has one quarter inch tubing. It also lacks, uh, here we go, uh, rather no it doesn't lack it. Uh, oh yeah, it also lacks lighting effects on the block itself, but it does have the same swiveling connectors here so that you're not gonna have any difficulty regardless of where your CPU socket is situated on your motherboard, making sure that the tubing is not sort of at a weird angle that puts unnecessary strain on the connectors. The design for mounting is the traditional sort of ring mounting bracket that we've seen many times in the past with a copper base that has a high quality thermal compound pre-applied to it and the pump here we go, is powered by a black ribbon cable that is a three pin connector. So that'll plug into either a PWM CPU fan connector or a legacy three pin connector, but you'll only be able to use DC control if you wanted to lower the speed of the pump, but I really, really wouldn't recommend doing that in 95 cases out of 100, actually 100 cases out of 100, just don't do that. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the H110 from Corsair. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.